So when do you want them back then? Actually, I was thinking maybe today. Today? Yeah. Karen, you know I appreciate everything you've done for us. But Tina's gone now. There's no reason to wait. They need to come home. Besides, I uh, want to get them into a routine before I stop work next week. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking about. I mean, how are you all going to manage? And I've had a little idea. Sorry, but can I have a quick word with Gray? No, can you hang on a minute? Uh, it's about Ian. Oh, oh all right. Look, you know Ian married Sharon recently? Well, I've been a bit worried about him. She may have been burning care. Sorry if she's been wasting your time. You're not the first brief she's pestered. I'm just trying to look after my son's interests. Are you sure this is about Ian? Are you sure you're not just looking ten years down the line, worrying you've lost your carer? You're yeah, right, Sharon, you have your little jokes. There's only one person who needs a bit of care now, and that is Ian. He should be with me. But he doesn't want to be with you. He wants to be with me. He's wanted that for the best part of 30 years. Oh, yeah, and what about you, eh? There is not one single person around here who understands why you got married, Sharon. Not one. Which is why we're throwing a party tonight. A late wedding reception in the Vic. So we can show everyone exactly how we feel about each other. I take it you won't be joining in the celebrations? Oh, what, I miss your big performance? No, no, I'll be there all right. I'll be sitting in the front row of the stalls. 